Welcome back to the GCP Mindset Channel. Today, we will take a closer look on the Independent Ethics Committee. More after the intro. Let's talk about the role of the Ethics Committee. Each study must be approved by an Independent Ethics Committee, also known as Independent Review Board. The purpose of this approval process is the protection of the rights, the safety, and the well-being of all trial subjects. The Ethics Committee must pay special attention to clinical trials in which vulnerable trial subjects are examined. Particularly vulnerable trial subjects include, for example, prisoners, children of study nurses, medical students, etc. Those people who could be influenced in any way within the study. According to GCP, the Independent Ethics Committee must include at least five members. One of the members must be a medical and scientific layman and is supposed to represent the patient's perspective on the committee. This position is usually filled with lawyers or theologians. Another member must be a layman independent of the trial site. Thus, for example, no member of the university hospital in which a study takes place only those members of the ethics committee who are independent of the investigator and the sponsor should vote and provide opinion respectively this point is absolutely crucial because otherwise an exertion of influence on the result of the vote by the sponsor or the trial site cannot be excluded to carry out the examination the ethics committee requires numerous study related documents these are in particular the trial protocol amendments to the protocol, amendments in the course of the study, written information to be provided to subjects, the written informed consent form, the subject recruitment procedures such as newspaper advertisements including all written information for trial subjects and potential trial subjects, the investigator's brochure, available information on safety, information on payments and possible compensation available to investigators and trial subjects, the investigator's current curriculum vitae and slash or other documentation evidencing qualifications of investigators and of trial facilities. To ensure transparency, the Independent Ethics Committee is supposed to store all relevant data, for example written procedures, lists of occupations and affiliations of members, submitted documents, minutes of meetings, as well as correspondence for a period of at least three years after completion of the clinical trial and to make these data available upon request from the regulatory authority or regulatory authorities. We hope you learned something interesting about the Independent Ethics Committee. See you next time on the GCP Mindset Channel. Hey there, don't forget, like and subscribe, but most importantly, click that bell so you never miss another video.